Hi there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can rip 3D models from GameCube games and Wii games using the Dolphin emulator and 3D Ripper DX. So you're going to need to download very specific versions of these programs. For the Dolphin emulator, I'm going to be using Dolphin 4.0 and it's a 32-bit Dolphin emulator. It being 32 bits is very important because 3D Ripper DX doesn't work with all kinds of programs. Now as for that program, you're going to want 3D Ripper DX version 1.8. It's possible you can use future versions or even earlier versions, but if you want the exact same results I'm getting or a better chance of that, it's best to use the same programs and proper versions. So I'm also going to be using Blender to look at the 3D models, but that's not necessary. So I'll try to have links to these programs in the description below. And assuming you've gone and downloaded those programs, we can begin. So you're going to need a ROM or ISO file to use to actually rip 3D models from. In this case, I'm using James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire. But the first thing you want to do is boot up 3D Ripper DX. Now you're going to want to click on this directory over here, this button, and find your Dolphin emulator that you're using. In case mine's already selected, so I won't be doing this step. Just make sure you click on the dolphin.exe file. Now the defaults over here are usually good, but make sure capture all textures is selected and that your capture key is something appropriate that isn't already being used on your keyboard. So mine's F1 and that's that works for me. Also make sure capture wavefront.object is selected because you want an object file to, to go with those textures, right? So down here is very important. This is where everything is getting outputted. The frames, the textures, and the shaders. Now the frames is just the actual object itself, assuming you've selected wavefront.object over here. So I have them all going roughly to the same area, it's just a file in my documents. Uh, you can easily just create a file anywhere and direct them all to go there. So hit launch, and assuming your Dolphin emulator that you downloaded was a 32-bit version, it should boot up without an error. If it says unable to create process, likely you're using a 64-bit version of Dolphin and you'll have to find an older version or just a different one. So there's a step you've got to do here. Go to your graphics settings. Depending on what version of Dolphin you have, it may be a different to find that. But once you have graphics settings open, make sure you're using at least Direct 3D9, uh, one of the older ones that 3D Ripper DX can actually support. Assuming you've selected that, Let's go ahead and start up the game. So one thing I'm going to go ahead and do is mute the audio. So I'm going to do some settings here in this uh, multiplayer session and go ahead and begin a map that I want to rip 3D models from. Let's say this one here. Select that, start the game, and now get ready to press F1 to capture your results. So let's say I want to look and it doesn't capture everything you're seeing. That's one of the drawbacks of using 3D Ripper DX. What you want to do is capture everything in front of you. So try to get a good angle like this and press F1. And now it's been captured. So I can go ahead and pause emulation here in case I want to capture more 3D models. And to go back on what I said there, it doesn't capture all the 3D models in the environment, but if you have some skill in 3D modeling, you can match all of these models up if you take multiple 3D model rips to get yourself one big model of the environment or a character model or a specific model of an object, whatever you're looking for. So let's go to where everything was exported. So all my stuff was exported here. So in the frames folder, you have your object and the materials here. The shaders you can pretty much ignore, it's not that important. And here are all your textures. So one thing I like to do is just press Control A and move all your textures around into the frames folder where your object file is. That way when you actually open up your object file it'll load the textures as well. And usually the results you get are going to be very very massive so just press A on your keyboard to select everything then press S and scale it down. So if you actually want to view textures, you can click on any object by right clicking on it. Go to the materials tab, scroll down to shadeless and select it. I have a script that automatically does this. So if I go to uh, bottom left down here to what kind of shading you want, click material. It'll show me all the textures without shading. So as you can see, it is skewed. And that's one of the things that uh, 3 Ripper DX does. But you can fix this. It's not going to be a 100% accurate result, but this is what I normally do. I press S and then Y to scale in the Y direction, 
just so like it looks more natural about that. And actually, most of this seems pretty accurate. This is not that skewed. But normally you would press S in the X direction to scale in the X direction and try get it as accurate as you can see there. That's about as accurate as I'm going to get it. But as you can see here, this is the entire 3D model. It actually captured more than I thought it would. And assuming you can fix the skewing on the model, you can get some really good results. And I have tutorials on how you can, let's say, select everything and combine them. And you have all of these materials with different textures. I have a tutorial on how you can fuse them all into one UV map. Or you can do it in chunks, just so you don't have such a mess to work with. But that's it for this video on how you rip 3D models from a, in this case, a GameCube game, but it, the same process for a Wii game. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.